Uh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Gerardo. Good evening, Oscar. Good evening, teacher. Hello. 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 Good evening, Maria. Mayra. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good to see you here, Maricela. Gilberto. Aidan, okay, I know that you are over here as listeners tonight. Norma and Raquel, right? <clears throat> Raquel, could you solve the problem? Hector, hello. Well, people are just getting connected. Uh huh, R R Raquel. Uh, could, could you get into the platform and solve the exercises? Okay, Maricela, I got your message. Okay, very good. Excellent, Raquel. I'm really happy about it. Now, time to start working in the platform, you know. Okay, quite important to start working in the platform. Very good. Now, I wonder if you have any problem with microphone. Well, I, I saw there, there are some people who are just getting back to their homes. And that's quite good, right? I know that you have a hard working people, you know, Salvadorian people are hard working people, right? So we are recognized worldwide um, for being um, really good workers, okay? People who like to work really hard. So it's, it's quite good. Now, let me see, it's almost time to start with the class. And I have 10 people connected, the chat is, um, all right, Raquel, I got your message also. Don't worry, because, well, you know, we have two hours over here, right? So there is going to be a moment in which you're going to be able to participate, and I hope you will do it. Okay, Vidal is getting into the class. All right, so it's almost time to start with my... um. List attendance, you know, this is a, the first step I take every single time I get into the class. Then I start with the classes, the development of the class. And well, I have a lot of activities tonight, as always, as we usually have, right? And uh, of course, that you are going to be giving you time to present information about your album. All right, Hector, I got it your album and also information about the activities you perform at work. Okay. So we're gonna know about it. So it's eight o'clock, I will check the list of attendance. Okay, tell me if you're over here so that I can start with the class as soon as possible. We have 120 um, minutes. To develop the activities over here. And um, I really like the way you work over here because you are very constant. I mean, you come to class. Um, I mean, you don't miss classes, right? So and that is something that I really admire. Well, I will start. Adan is over here. Allison. Is Allison here? Raquel is over here. Camelia, Camelia hasn't come yet. Dina, Gerardo, I know Gerardo is over here. Gilberto, Present. okay. Uh, is Gilberto here? Let's see, Gilberto, are you here? No, right, Gilberto is not over here. Hey, Gilberto is absent so far. Gladys? Good evening, teacher. Okay, hello. Good evening, Gladys. Uh, who is here, teacher. Okay, who, who said I'm here? Good evening, teacher. Oh, that's Henry. All right, Henry. Very good. Good evening. Just give me one second, Henry. 
Okay, Henry is over here. Hector is over here. Gladys is over here. Isabel. <clears throat> Isabel hasn't come yet. Jonathan. I don't listen to Jonathan. Uh, Mayra Norabel. Present. Okay, no, uh, Mayra, very good. Maria Elba, are you here? Present, teacher. Excellent. Maricela is over here, I know. Miguel, I yeah, Miguel Angel. Hello, Miguel Angel. Norma Xiomara. Hello, teacher. Hello, Norma. Oscar Josué. Hello, teacher. Hello, Oscar. Good to listen to you, Ronan. Present, teacher. Good. Salvador Santiago. Salvador Santiago. Veraliz. Good evening, teacher. I'm Good present. Evening. Good evening. Vidal. I know Vidal is over here. Claudia, Veronica. Hello, teacher. Okay, hello, Vidal. I know, I know that you will be as a listener tonight. And Claudia, I wonder if Claudia is here. No, Claudia hasn't come yet. All right. Well, the first time I I, I checked list attendance. Remember, I usually do it twice in the in the class. Okay, during the class. So this was the first class. Okay, how are you today, people? How are you today? So, so. Just fine? Are you okay? Well, Gerardo said, I'm so, so. You don't feel that well, Gerardo? Okay. Okay, let me see. Well, I hope that you are uh, having a great time tonight and that you have um, some coffee with you today. What day is the day, people? What date? What date is today? What day is today? What date is today? Thursday. Uh, today is Tuesday. Look at the chat. I will, I will share the day with you in, in the chat. Tuesday, aha, uh -huh. uh, what month? May. May, what date? Thursday. Oh, oh but this, what date, date? Um, uh... Sixteenth, and what is what is the year? What's the year we're in? Two thousand twenty-three, or twenty twenty-three. Okay, so this is the way we write down the date. So later we're gonna talk about uh the days. Of, I mean how to how to uh, talk about dates okay day date day date so different pronunciation right so you need to be clear about it okay well welcome that's um, the most important uh, part of the class like, uh, to say hello and to see you in the class is you know that's amazing i know there are some other people who are missing i'm missing like like five people who usually get into the class and well, I hope they can get into the class tonight. Well, yesterday <clears throat> we start, uh, we continue working with Simple Present. I told you that tonight uh, we're in church of talking about Simple Present, but in this case, it will be like, we're gonna practice a lot, right? No more explanation about Simple Present, no more rules, no more, um, uh, patterns. No, I mean, we're going to practice, pure practice about simple present, all right? So after practicing, after practicing, um, I mean, with a book, with a PDF book and with a, with a, with a platform and also with, um, 
I have an exercise there. I have a, well, we're gonna have a review on a, on a PowerPoint presentation. Well, you know, I have a lot of info to, for tonight. Okay, so we're gonna have a great time as we usually have. So let us start just right now, okay? Okay, as usually, you know, uh, I, I really like this, the order uh, I, uh, we have been working with the activities lately, okay? We usually start with the, with the platform and then we move to, it says Marivel. Sorry, I need to check this. So, Claudia, okay, okay, Maribel. Okay. So, well, just say like we had, we, we were talking about a uh, vocabulary practice routine. So this is the class we, we, um, we had yesterday, right? So the, there is a, an exercise in here, okay? And in order to start with the activities, we're gonna see what we have here. Now, what is the name of this person, people? What is the name? Okay, provide a name to this person, please. Where is the name of this person? What is the name of this person? Wait, uh... Huh? Joseph. Joseph. Uh, okay. What does jo Joseph usually do in the morning? What does Joseph usually do in the morning? Give me one second, because I think I have... Yeah, it's better on here. Yeah, uh, what does usually... What does Joseph usually do in the morning, people? Wakes up. Uh, Joseph, okay, remember that you need to provide a complete sentence, right? Joseph wakes up, wakes, wakes up, Joseph wakes up, uh huh. Joseph, okay, tell me the sentence again. Joseph. Joseph, what? Wakes up. At what time? Hello, hello? Can you listen to me, people? Can you see the info, guys? Gerardo, do you see the do you do you see the image? Uh, Miran la imagen. Okay. So, what time does Joseph wake up? Five o'clock. At five o'clock. All right. Five o'clock. It's five o'clock. All right. Very good. And after that, you know, Joseph over here is blonde, right? But over here he has the black hair. But it's Joseph. I mean, we continue mm -hmm. with Joseph. Aunque tenga el pelo de otro color, pero es el mismo Joseph. Okay. Okay. So, what about the second one? What does what does he do later? Take a shower. Okay, but tell me, Joseph. Joseph. Joseph, uh, what? Six, uh, six, uh, I'm in rhythm. Joseph takes a shower, right? Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Joseph takes a shower. Mm -hmm. Very good. Joseph takes a shower. After that, what does, okay, after that, what does Joseph do? 
पता सिद्ध हे ब्रशस ब्रशस हे स्टेफ एंड आफ्टर दैट व्हाट डस ही डू व्हाट डस जस्ट डू आफ्टर ब्रशिंग हिज टीथ हाँ मैं तरफ़ हाँ what what Joseph wakes up right at five after that he takes a shower after taking a shower he he uh, brushes his teeth and after that he you know he has a razor over here you know. He has some soap or some cream, shaving cream. Maybe you don't know this verb. Where's this verb? This is the verb. Sorry, this is the verb. Shave. Okay, this is the verb. Shave. Uh huh. Yeah, that's right. So after he brushes his teeth, he he shaves. He shaves. All right. Now, once again, people. Once again. Okay. You're gonna tell me, but but without. Now, tell me the story about about Joseph, please. Uh huh. Wait. Uh, hey, but but tell me complete sentence. It's complete sentence. Joseph. Joseph. Wakes up. Wakes up. Six o'clock. At six o'clock. Okay, you change the hour. Okay, se levantaba las cinco y se levanta las seis. All right. So Joseph <laughs> wakes up at six o'clock. Okay, so una hora más tarde está entrando al trabajo. Okay, after that. Uh, Joseph take a shower. Joseph takes a shower, and after that, Joseph uh, brush teeth. Brush, brush teeth. or brushes, people. Brushes, brushes. Brushes. Yeah, remember. Brushes. Brushes his teeth, brushes. and after that. And after that, Joseph. Joseph shaves. 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 Okay, so now shaves. we have a, a, a clearer idea about about Joseph, right? So let's see what's coming in the exercise in the in the platform. Okay, so that's like a, an extra exercise I usually provide. Let's see. Say hello to Joseph. Okay, Joseph is over here. Okay, now now that you know about Joseph, okay, you you told me right. He, what does he do at the beginning? He wakes up. He wakes up. All right. After that, he takes a shower. He takes a shower. It's over here, right? He takes a shower. Mm -hmm. So here. And after that, after taking a shower, he brush my teeth. Brush? Where is brush over here? Brush. No, Brushes. Brushes my teeth. His teeth, right? His teeth. His teeth. Okay. And after he, he brushes his teeth, he He what? Um, he shaves. All right. So he shaves. So, and actually, this is well, actually, you did it, right? That's the story about Joseph, right? He wakes up at, at, you say, at five, sometimes at five, 
some other day he wakes up at six uh, he takes a shower after taking a shower he brushes his teeth and he shaves okay very good simple like that so this is now what about if i ask you to create a negative sentence negative sentence people please ahora una oración negativa por favor con lo mismo en lugar de que sea positiva dictémela en negativo he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. At six, right? At six a.m. Now, what would be the question? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? ¿Cómo sería una pregunta? Una pregunta de sí o no. Mm -hmm. He wakes up at five, at six, but he does he doesn't get up he doesn't wake up at five, okay maybe at five there right, aha uh -huh, but what what would be the question people, cómo sería la pregunta? Hello. Only one person, please. Only one. Okay, what would be the, the question? Um, sería un, does he take a shower? Does he, no, let's continue with the same, right? So with the same verb. Oh. Does he... Wakes up. Wake. Uh, wakes, wake. Uh, wake, wake up. Wake up. Wake. Does he wake up at 6 a.m.? Okay. They say yes, he does, right? Because that's the hour you told me. Okay. What about the second one, people? Okay. Now, I won't type anything because I have some other exercises. Ya no voy a seguir digitando porque tengo otros ejercicios, pero de manera oral, ¿cómo iría? He takes a shower. Negative. He doesn't take a shower. He doesn't take a shower. Question. Does Question. he take a shower? Does he take a shower? Yes, he does. Number three, negative form. He brushes his teeth. Negative. He does. He does. He does not or he doesn't. He does not. He does not. Brush. Brush. Okay, he doesn't brush his teeth. Interrogative form. Okay. Okay, Alison, I, I read your message, Alison. Don't worry, I will take it into consideration. Okay, if, uh, positive statement, he brushes his teeth. Negative statement, he doesn't brush his teeth. Interrogative. Does he? Does he brush, does he brush his teeth? His teeth. Does he brush his teeth? All right, number four. He shaves, negative. He shaves. He doesn't, he doesn't shave. shave. Interrogative. Does he shave? Does he shave? 
pretty good. So you see, the the exercise is quite simple, but we can we can like, um, we can have like more. But this is yesterday's class, right? So today we are in church of practicing daily routines. You know, we are in church of practicing this. This is our topic for tonight, people. All right. So let me see what I have here. Let me see the order. No. Uh, uh, no. Well, I will go over the. I will go over a, 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 a PowerPoint presentation in a very quick way. Uh, it's, you know, we're going to get some info with there. So you are going to help me to. To have to have the review. Tengo una presentación por ahí. Ya vimos mucha de esa información. Algunas cositas le cambié, pero como es algo que ya ya vimos. Mira, aquí dice review, ¿ve? Review, repaso y algo más de vocabulario, ¿ok? Entonces ustedes me van a ir ayudando porque son cosas que ya ustedes ya las conocen, ¿ok? En su mayoría. Okay, now I have, for example, uh, daily routines. That's what we are going to um, uh, practice tonight because you are going to express your ideas using daily routines. Okay, so far, I think we have gotten this um, goal. Then I have the days of the week. Okay, that's why I started with, the, with this uh, at the beginning. Okay, people, tell me the days of the week, please. Sunday. Sunday. What do you do on Sunday? Weekly, please. ¿Qué, qué, hacen el dom ¿Qué haces el domingo? Cualquiera puede contestar. Yo voy a decir el día y usted me va a decir qué es lo que hace ese día. Cualquiera puede contestar, ¿ok? Pero tratemos de participar activamente para que, que la clase fluya y no, y no vayamos a invertir mal nuestro tiempo. O sea, si, si alguien dice Sunday, ok, alguien más tiene que estar este, dispuesto a decir, well, on Sunday I go to the church. A, a, a los, los domingos voy a la iglesia, entonces alguien más puede decir, I don't go to the church, I don't like it, no me gusta ir a, no voy a la iglesia, no me gusta. Ok, and that's it. Ok, pero la cosa es que vayamos participando. Ok, so Sunday, ajá, what do you do on Sunday? What do you do on Sunday? Play the movies. I watch. I, play, I watch the movies. Absolutely. Maybe you, you play video games. Gerardo. Um, yeah, you play video games, but you watch a movie. Very good. Now, how do you say this day, people? Uh -huh. Mondays. Mondays. Uh -huh. What's going on on Monday? What do, you do on, what do you do on Monday? What do you do on Mondays? Weekly, please, anybody, Veralis, Gladys, Oscar, Mary, okay? I have a lot of people in the class, so I want you to participate. I order my room. Okay, I order my room. What about this day? Tuesday. Tuesday. What do you do on Tuesdays? What do you do on Tuesdays? Uh, I have English classes. Very good. What about this day? Wednesday. Wednesday. What do you do on Wednesdays? I play soccer. Are you play soccer on Wednesdays? Good. What about this day? Thursday. Thursday. What do you do on Thursdays? I go to the park. I you go to the park. Create activity. What about what about this day? Friday. 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 What do you do on Fridays? Okay, let's hurry, please. This needs to be quickly. 
I go to play basketball. Ah, you play basketball on Fridays. Very good. And the last day? Saturday. Saturday. What do you do on Saturdays? Dormir in English. Sleep. <laughs> you sleep a lot on Saturday. Okay, that's really good. Very good. Now, okay, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now, uh, you know the month of the year, right? So do be the favor to to tell me the month of the year in a very quick way, please. Uh huh. What about this month? January. January. February. February. March. March. April. 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 May. May. June, 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 July, 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 July August, August, September, September, October, October, November, November, November December, and December. December. Very good. So later, later we're gonna we're gonna have some some other exercises with this info. Now, okay, so we have some other activities over here. Now, you know this, right? Quick. What about this one? Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Have lunch. Have dinner. Have dinner. Now, you know, we have three meals in the day, right? So we have three meals in the day. How many meals do we have in the day? Meals. These are meals. Meals. How many meals? We have three, right? Yeah. We have three meals: uh, breakfast, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dinner. Right? So we have breakfast, we have lunch, and we have dinner. dinner. Okay. Now. Okay. Now we can prepare dinner. We can make dinner. My dinner. Now for the laundry. Do you know what folding means, right? So this is a new fold verb. Them. Fold the and laundry. The... Where do you fold, people? Where do you fold? Sepa. Huh? Sepa. Okay, look, okay. <laughs> look, 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 look in St. Google. St. Google has the answer, right? Ahorita. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so for but you have fold the laundry, so doblar what? Doblar, doblar la ropa. Okay. What? Look, look at this verb. So of the net. Look at this verb. Do you know this verb? What is feed? Feed the dog. Yeah, go go and look for the alimentar. alimentar. Ah, okay, feed the dog, right? Alimentar take a, al perro. Take a taxi. <laughs> clean the window. Cut the grass. You know, grass, grass. Cut the grass. Cut the grass. Cortar el All right, very good. Do the dishes. Paint the house. Pintar la casa. Yeah, wait for the bus. Paint a picture. Have a break. But well, you say in the this is U UK is United Kingdom, right? Reino Unido, United Kingdom. Uh, you say have a break, but in the US, in the United States, you say take a break, right? So that's the difference. Have a break, take a break. Walk the dog. Walk the dog. Walk the dog. Yeah. Take out the rubbish. Take out. Take out the rubbish. Take out the rubbish. Then you have sweep, and you have rake the rake the leaves. Okay, what's raking? Uh, Ready the leaves. 
Raider lives. Okay, so but this is a verb, right? It's a verb. Raider lives. You know, lives, right? Uh, like, like, Raider lives. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, so Ray the lips. Barrer las hojas. Excellent, very good. And read the news. Leer. Yeah, read the news. That's it, right? Leer so, la yeah, so you have you have a lot of vocabulary over here, right? So the video favor to repeat now that you know the the meaning. Okay, so let us repeat it uh, as quickly as possible. Okay, work. Work. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Have lunch. Have lunch. Have have lunch. Have, have, have lunch. lunch. Have dinner. Have dinner. Make dinner. Make dinner. Make Make dinner. dinner. Fold the laundry. Fold the laundry. Soft the net. Soft the net. Feed the dog. Feed the dog. Feed the dog. Take a taxi. Take a taxi. Clean the window. Clean the, Clean window. the window. Cut the grass. Cut the grass. Do the dishes. Do the dishes. Do the dishes. Paint the house. Paint the house. Paint the house. Wait for the box. Wait for the box. Paint a picture. Paint the picture. Paint the picture. Paint the picture. Have a break. Yeah. Have a break. Take a break. Take a break. Walk the dog. Walk the dog. Take out the rubbish. Take out the rubbish. Sweep the floor. The floor. Read the leaves. Read the leaves. And read the news. Read the news. Okay, now that we got how many? Let's see. There is somebody who has some music. Por ahí alguien tiene tiene música de fondo. Okay, gracias. Okay, now how many how many words or how many expression do do we learn tonight? Well, one maybe you have you learn you 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 knew some of them right, but actually I I include like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, uh, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. So you see. 21 expression. Uh, ¿Qué tal si, si ustedes se propusieran aprenderse por lo menos 20 nuevas, nuevos verbos diarios? Por ahí, si mal no recuerdo, alguien compartió un listado de mil verbos. Imagínense. Ah, sí, la compañera la compartió ahí. Entonces, Ayer. quiere decir que la tarea que tenemos de aquí a, a un upper intermediate, upper intermediate quiere decir este, ya llegando avanzado, está un poquito, o sea, es de trabajarle, pues. Sí, por, sí. Yo, yo por lo menos creería que, que si no se va a aprender 20, porque usted considera que es mucho, por lo menos unos 5 diarios, ¿eh? para ver algunos avances. Ok, let's see. Now, this, this, this info, well, we, we started this info the last time, right? Exercise. Exercise. Listen to music. Play football. Play football. Go out for dinner. Go out for dinner. Go dancing. Go dancing. Take a nap. Take a nap. Read again. Read again. Check media. Check media. Go to the movies. Go to the movies. Movie. And visit friends. Okay, so those are like more birds by relating to um, free time activity. I think Gerardo has some hip hop, right? <laughs> so I think, Gerardo, could you please stop it? Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, las personas que no pueden este controlar lo del sonido de fondo, pues sí les voy a solicitar que, que, que no dejemos abierto el micrófono porque eso nos va a estar interrumpiendo. Okay, so how will, how will short, you know, right activity that we usually do at home. Wash the dishes. 
clean the house, do the, the house, laundry, take the out the garbage, the go the shopping. Ah, you know, this is a different shopping. one, right? Go shopping, we'll go dust, shopping dust, sweep, and mop. Sweep, mop. Okay, so and yesterday we were just discussing about about the, the frequency other, right? So can you please repeat this? Can you tell me the way you read this? Uh-huh. Never. Never. Uh I don't know first. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Tell them. Occasionally. Occasionally. Sometimes. Sometimes. Often. Often or often. often. Normally. Normally. Usually. You. Usually. 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 And always, right? So you see the percentage over here. When you say never, it's because you don't yeah. do it, right? So example, I never go to the cinema. I don't like it. 5% of the time they say hardly ever. I hardly ever drink alcohol. I almost never do it, right? 10% uh, is seldom. I seldom read the newspaper. 30% is occasionally. I occasionally eat junk food. 50% uh, sometimes. I go with my friends. Uh, so I, I sometimes go with my husband or with my wife. 70% uh, often, they often go out for dinner, 80% normally. I normally go to the gym, 90% usually. I would say uh, they usually quarrel. And 100% is always, she always goes to the night club to, the, to, the, to dance. All right, so I, I hope the information is clear, right? So maybe, I don't know, wh where is the verb, people? ¿A dónde está el verbo en cada una de las oraciones? En, en esta, ¿dónde está el verbo? En casa. Ah, goes. Go. Está, está en tercera persona. Miren, fíjense bien. She goes. Yo, <coughs> she goes. Goes. Ajá. ¿A dónde está el verbo They... en la segunda? Quarrel. The quarrel. Está en... Está la en... Tercera persona, pero plural. Wow. Now, what about this one? Where's the verb? Go. 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 Primera persona. What about this one? The go. Go out. Go. It's this one. Go out. Okay. Go out. Go out. What about this one? Go with. Go with. with. Right? Go with. with. What about this one? Eight. 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 Yeah, Eight. good. What about this one? Read. Read. What about this one? Drink. 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 What about this, the last one? Go. Go to the cinema, right? So, go very good. Now, I think it's been enough with this, with it, right? So, with this, with this uh, presentation. Now we'll go over some activities, some more activities. Okay, I know. Okay, people, give me a second, please. Okay. Now, can you see the info?
Can you see the information, guys? What are the verbs that I have here? What is this verb? Hello, hello? Hello. Uh, okay, yeah. so where, where are these verbs? Según el día de la semana, lo vemos. No, I mean, what is this verb? What is the verb? ¿Cuáles son los verbos que veamos acá? Go. Go out. Go out, go out to clubs. Relax. Relax. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Parents. Visit no. parents. Visit. Work. 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 To... Business. Yeah, business. actually, business is not a verb, but to do business, right? And do business. Meet. Meet. Meet, right? Meet. So those are the verbs. What are the days? Uh, I mean, siempre que digan los días de la semana, siempre. Y, y van a decir yo los, los lunes, los martes, hago esto, lo otro. Entonces, siempre va a utilizar este on. Ok. Siempre, cuando sean los días de la semana. On Tuesday, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on, on, on Thursday night, on Friday night, on Saturday, on Sunday. Okay, all the time. On, on. Okay, now, so we don't have problems with this, right? So we know the verbs, we know the days of the week. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to listen to an audio file, and then we're going to match with the action using the draw and drop. Okay, so you will tell me, okay, van a escuchar y luego me van a decir, teacher, go, go out to clubs on Tuesday, on Monday, etc., right? Depending on what you listen to over here. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. All right, listen to it again, second time. This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. All right, do you need a third time? Necesitan una tercera ocasión de escucharlo? Yes, Okay, third time. This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. Was it enough? Suficiente o escuchamos la última? Una más, por favor. Okay. This we week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. Okay. Was it enough? Necesitan una última? Me dio risa porque cuando yo hacía este tipo de ejercicios lo escuchaba hasta 10 veces. Así que que no les dé pena si el teacher una más, porfa. Sí, porfa, una más porque okay. <risa> partes y el... <risa> sí. <risa> es que cuando hago estos ejercicios me acuerdo. Y bueno, yo antes no lo escuchaba más, varias veces y estos chicos son tan, son tan listos que una y ya dice, no, teacher, ya estuvo. Ok, veamos. Diez una más, más, por favor. <laughs> this week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. 
On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. Okay. Now, yes, right? I think it's been enough. What about Monday, people? What does the lady do on Monday? Work late. Uh, he work late. He work. Uh, she work. He or she work. She. she. We're gonna check it. This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. Uh huh. What about on Tuesday? The sun is missing. Ah. Uh -huh. Listen to it, listen. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. Uh huh. Meet my friend Bill. Uh, yes. On Tuesday afternoon, she meets her mm -hmm. friend Bill, right? She meets right. her friend Bill. What about on Wednesdays? Do you remember about what she does on Wednesdays? Is his name meet? No. Oh. Business meeting. She has, she has business meeting. Let's see. Business meeting. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. Okay, she has. She has. A business meeting. All right. Yes. What about on Thursday night? Relax at home. Mm -hmm. On Thursday night, I relax at home. She, she what? ¿Qué es lo que hace lo, los jueves? She, she relaxes. Ajá, uh, no, listen people, that's why I'm, I'm uh, por eso es que hemos estado practicando mucho con tercera persona. Que aquí se relax, pero cuando yo digo she, es porque quiero que me lo digan en tercera persona. Por ejemplo, on Monday, what does, what does she do on Mondays? She? She works late. She works or she works? She works. Okay, what about on Tuesday afternoon? Meets. On Tuesday, she meets. Ajá, ella se encuentra con, uh, con, ajá. Okay. 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 With her friend Peel. What about on Wednesday? What does she do on Wednesdays? Uh, El verbo es have. have. ¿Cómo conjugar? Yo, no. yo es que un día esto le mostré un cuadrito como, como se conjuga. She has. She has a business meeting, right? She has business a business meeting. Business meeting. What about on Thursday night? Relaxing. She yes. relaxes at home. What about on Friday? Oh, sí, vamos, oh, sí. On Friday. What about on Friday night? She goes to, goes to club. She, Go to club. she goes she or goes? Oh, goes. Goes. It goes out to clubs. Let's see. Clubs. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday. Uh -huh. She said I go clubbing, right? So she goes out to clubs. What about on Saturdays? She goes to the gym. She goes to the gym. I go to the gym. She goes to the gym. All right. And what about uh, Sundays? What does she do on Sundays? She visits parents, right? On Sunday, I visit my parents. She visits her parents. Good. Yes. Hey, look at what you have here. You're a genius. You are a genius, right? Said so you are a genius. Well done. Good. Perfect. You did it all of them. I really like that. So you see, I will share the link. Voy yes. a compartir el enlace para que lo tengan por ahí. Okay, questions so far? 
No questions? No questions. Okay, so we're gonna continue. Remember, tonight is uh uh is it was designed for, for us to have some review. Vamos a hacer estos ejercicios del libro y de ahí si van a tener su oportunidad, ¿ok? De participar con las actividades que se les asignaron allá. Ok, yesterday we were talking about uh, Neida, chicas en Nelly Pineda, right? So we were also working about um, the person singular. Uh, I told you to solve this exercise, right? What's the purpose? Well, to read the information here and to answer, right? If we have a, 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 a just no question, we need to answer with yes or no, but you know the way to, to, to answer, right? It's not only to answer yes or no, no. Say yes, yes, I do, no, I don't, yes, yeah, he does, no. No, he doesn't or no, she doesn't. It all depends on the person, right? So, well, let us have some review. Oneida creates software, repairs computers, and installs antivirus. That's what she does, right? But Nelly Pineda doesn't sell computer programs. She doesn't exchange information about programs. On the other hand, we have Ricardo Mata. He keeps track on the cells. He writes reports and he buys new merchandise. Uh, but Max Pinto doesn't receive money from sales and he doesn't decide what to buy. Okay, so I, I hope that you can, you can keep that in mind so that we can answer the question. All right, so uh, do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? Keep it in mind. Hey, we are working on a pitch 20, in a pitch 23, 23. Do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? Say yes, they do or no, they don't, people. Yes, they do. Okay, so say yes, they do, yes, they do, right? So yes, comma, they do. Period. Do Rick, no, do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. Period. Uh, do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? No, do they it? don't. No, they don't. No, comma, they don't. Period. Do Ricardo and Max write reports? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, comma, they do. Period. Uh, do Ricardo and Max repair computers? No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. And what about Oneida and Nelly? Do, do they install programs? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. All right. So you see, this is very simple, right? Like to like to answer yes or no, right? But the purpose of here is to, to provide it. It is an answer in the right way. Not only say like yes or no. Recuerdense, si, van a, si, si, si les hacen una pregunta de, de do or does, sé que preguntar, tiene que responder sí o no. ¿verdad? Do you work hard? Does she work hard? Yes, I do. Yes, she does. All right. No solo yes or no. Okay. 
Es, así no se responde. Se responde utilizando los auxiliares. Ok, next point. Now, over here, some review about, about questions. Yes, no question, right? So we started uh, above with the exercise, but you know, uh, as a review, we have auxiliary do, and we also have auxiliary. In the, uh, well, the third person singular, we, we, we studied it previously, right? So, but when I have I, when I have you, when I have they, and when I have we, Remember, we're going to use the auxiliary do. The auxiliary do, all right? Oops, sorry. The auxiliary do. This is a D, una D. Okay, and you know the same over here, right? So if you want to make it negative, you know that you need to do it like this. Don't is the same as do not, right? So simple like that. And you use it with I, with you, with they, and with we. Negative statements. Okay, so this is, you know, quick review because we have been studying this a lot. Okay, so what would be the question over here, people? We're going to work in this part. It says, create just no questions using the words in parentheses. Write the answers. Okay. What would be the question here? Do you work? Do, do, you, no. do you work? Do company? company work? No. Do okay, you start. You start it well. Do. Do you. 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 Company oh. work. Uh -huh. Now, work. after that, después del, del, del sujeto, ¿qué debería de ir? El verbo. El verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo en estas tres palabras? Work. work. Okay, so do you work? Company. Company. At a company. Y el signo de interrogación. No se les olvide. So, si la respuesta es yes, ¿qué le hace falta acá? I do. I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Ahí está, la primera. What about number two? They check product. Do today to check today check the product. The product. Okay, ya no pongo el, el, el signo de interrogación porque aquí está. A ver. Aquí está. So do they check the the oh sorry. Did they check the product? <clears throat> no, yes, right? No. They don't. No, they don't. Okay. No, they don't. No, they don't. Good. Number three, we listen customers. Do. We. Do, do, we, do we, we listen? Listen to customers. To customers. Do we listen to customers? Yes. Yes, I do. But it says we, right? No, no. yes, we. Yes. Yes, we. 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 Do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Number four, buy new material. I. 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 Do I. Buy new material. Buy. Buy new material. Do I buy new material? No. I do. I don't no, know. I do. The night one. Ah. No, I don't. And I think we have the last one over here. Sorry, but 
Uh, I, I will delete. Uh, si gustan, pues copien hasta ahí. Y ya luego terminamos las últimas. Finish. Uh, finish. O le toman una foto. Ok, y luego la completan para avanzar un poquito. All right. Can I continue, people? Yes. Yeah, all right. So I will. Now, number. I think we are missing only one, right? It will be quite easy. So, Mil Melina and Pablo design logo. Do, do Melina and Pablo. Melina and Pablo. Design flow. Yes. They do. Yes, they do. Okay, very good. Now we have been practicing a lot about just no questions, right? And their answers. Now, how was it? ¿Cómo estuvo? ¿Has, ¿Hay alguna pregunta al respecto? ¿O algo que se les dificulte? A mí Not, será la pronunciación. Pronunciation, okay, so. So, but, but for example, let's see. Uh, Transition of certain words. De, de las preguntas en sí o de, uh, uh, de las palabras en sí o de la pregunta en general? De las palabras. Algunas, okay, no for example, you have work, company, check, Product, listen, customers, buy, new material, and you have, for example, design and logo, right? So you see, quite important to practice vocabulary, okay? So, and especially when you use the person singular, right? Over here, you, you we didn't need, we didn't, we didn't need to change or, or to make uh, some changes to the verb, because we are using second person singular or plural, third person plural, first person plural, first person singular, etc. Right. So over here, we don't, we, we didn't need, uh, to change the verb to make some arranges to the verb. Mm. Well, this questionnaire that says over here is a questionnaire that you are gonna ask to people uh, about the presentation. Okay, so it will be later. We're gonna work on that later. Now, uh, over here, what are you gonna do here? You have five, five, right? You have five exercises. Well, it's uh, ask five uh, classmates about the daily routine at work. They share the information to three different classmates, okay? So what are we gonna do, people? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna type the question in the chat, okay? So, and we're gonna, What do you do 
what do you do during the week? Ok, y todos van a contestar en el chat. Entonces, cuando se vea en el chat las respuestas, nada más mira el nombre de la persona que, que contestó y lo escribe. Al final yo le voy a preguntar a unas dos o tres personas de quiénes escribió la respuesta, ok, para completar el ejercicio, ok. So, esta es la pregunta. Now we'll give you five minutes. Cinco minutos para que escriban en el chat. Ok. Five minutes. Todos deben de escribir ahí. Y cuantas actividades quieran o puedan en cinco minutos. Y otra persona va a ir recogiendo información. Y la van a ir llenando. Ok. So five minutes. Cuando terminen esos cinco minutos, yo voy a preguntar. Ok. Ok, para quienes no lo hayan enfocado, esta está en la página 25. 25. Cinco minutos para el ejercicio del cuadro. Ok, ya vi la primera. Ok, very good, María. Por ahí pueden recoger la información que María empezó ya a digitar. Que okay, tienen cinco minutos, tienen que llenar ese, ese cuadro.
Okay, excellent people. I can see that you are working really hard by using the chat. Okay, we'll give you one minute more. Un minuto más y voy a empezar a preguntar. Por supuesto, me van a decir lo que las otras personas hacen ¿verdad? para utilizar tercera persona. All right. I think you're already finished, right? Well, I will ask only three people, right? Then I will continue. Or if if there are some others, well, we can, we we can I can give you the the time, right? So, if you want to share the information, you can. Uh, Maribel. Hello, teacher. Hello, Maribel. Can you tell us about the information you got? Excuse me? Uh, what, what, is, what is the information you got about your classmates? What does Alison do, for example? Or mm, no sé qué, qué información recogió del chat, de quienes nos va a hablar, okay? Okay. Okay. Recogí varias información. Por ejemplo, María eh, escucha música, va a la iglesia. Henry también eh, visita a la familia, aparte que trabaja. Y Veraliz trabaja y ve televisión. Ok, thank you. Now, in Spanish, please. In English, please, sorry. Okay. Maria um, and listening the music. She go to church. Church. Um Henry visited family. Um he working. Um, Veraliz watching TV and um, work. No sé si lo dijo bien. Oh, okay. Well, the information is so right, but let me see. I need to, I need to look for something here.
Well, I have to stop. I will stop sharing. Okay, and now we're gonna make some review about this. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso, okay? Se recuerdan de esta información? Yeah, all right. So we're gonna go over it again. Vamos a ir, vamos a verlo este de nuevo, pero especialmente vámonos a las terceras personas, ok. Ok, ya dijimos, tercera persona son esas, ¿verdad? He, she, it. Esos son pronombres, estos son los pronombres personales en inglés, ok, estos, estos a la, a la izquierda. A la derecha tenemos un verbo, ¿verdad? El verbo play. Entonces, este, dijimos que esto era primera persona, segunda persona singular, y esas tres le vamos a llamar tercera persona. De primera persona plural, segunda persona plural y tercera persona plural. Pero les hacía énfasis en presente simple, ok, eso es presente simple, en tercera persona. Que el verbo siempre iba a sufrir un cambio, algo iba a sufrir un cambio, pequeño cambio, en este caso es pequeño. Ok. Y que estuviéramos atentos a ello. También les dije de ciertas eh, reglas con tercera persona. Si ustedes se fijan, con las demás, pues no, no, no hay mucho problema. No hay problema porque el verbo se mantiene en su forma base. Cuando yo digo forma base... Creo que alguien compartió, digamos, un, 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 un listado ahí en el grupo. Ahí le va a aparecer base form, past form, and past participle form. En este caso tenemos play, es su forma base. ¿no? Cuando les diga el teacher, base form, ya saben ustedes que eso es. Porque de ahí van a entrar al pasado. Si mal no recuerdo, creo que nosotros lo vamos a, a tocar, empezar a tocar. De ahí lo van a ver en pasado. Ok. Y de ahí lo van a ver en algo que se llama pasado participio. No siempre va a ser así el patrón, ¿verdad? Aquí porque aparece así el verbo. Entonces, cuando yo les diga the base form, forma base, si ya saben que me refiero a esto. Ahora. Acá hay ciertas reglas, ¿ok? Entonces nos dice que regularmente lo que vamos a hacer con tercera persona, ok, once again, tercera persona, people, ok, you say, he, she, it, ok, generalmente al verbo se le agrega una S, si el verbo termina en SS, en X, en CH, en SH. Entonces le vamos a agregar S. Aquí está. His kisses. Si el verbo termina en O, le vamos a agregar S. Go, goes. Si el verbo termina en Y, pero antes de esa Y tenemos una vocal. Miren. Lo único que vamos a hacer es agregarle es tempo play, plays. Miren, aquí está la vocal. Uh, si el verbo termina en Y, pero antes de la Y tenemos una consonante, como en este caso, le vamos a cambiar la, la Y por una Y y latina y le vamos a agregar ES. Esas son las reglas que hay que siempre mantener, ¿ok? Uh, otra cosa que estaba notando yo en el chat es que algunos me están combinando eh, presente simple del verbo to be con presente simple de cualquier otro verbo. O sea, el verbo be, ya les he dicho que el verbo be es am, is, are. ¿Ok? Eso, este tema se ve aparte, ¿ok? Del presente simple en sí, porque este es el verbo be en presente. 
Ya esto que tenemos acá es presente simple con cualquier otro verbo. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué se separa el be de los demás verbos? Bueno, porque la función es diferente. ¿Ok? En el sentido de que el verbo be puede significar ser, estar, tener, cuando hablamos de la edad o cuando tenemos frío, calor, etc. Pero acá no. Cada verbo tiene, digamos, este, tiene su función. Y acá, por ejemplo, también les decía del, del dasen, miren, que el dasen se utiliza con, cuando decimos uh, expresiones en negativo, en tercera persona. Y el verbo regresa a su forma base. ¿Ok? Y en preguntas, pues sucede casi que... Bueno, el, 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 el auxiliar va al inicio, de ahí va el sujeto y al final va el verbo y una question mark. El verbo en forma base. Ok, ahora. Dicho esto, quiero que lo tomen en cuenta. Para decirnos qué es lo que obtuvieron de la presentación o de lo que escribieron los compañeros en el chat. Ok, vamos nuevamente. Voy a pedir voluntarios, ok. Voy a pedir voluntarios. Volunteers. Volunteers. María, ok, María, you can. Yes. And Oscar. Gus. Uh, to depart. And Henry visited um, her family on Sunday. And Gerardo goes to the movies Sunday. Okay, very good. That's it, Mary? Yes, it does. Ok, that's quite good. Something else. Algo más que vamos a hacer la observación es con respecto a los possessive adjectives. Si digo, Gerardo goes to uh, her house or to her school, Gerardo va a la escuela de ella. Uh, it, may, it, may, it may be possible, right? Podría ser posible, pero si yo digo a la escuela de él, vamos a decir his, his school, ¿ok? His school, ¿ok? Porque bien pudiéramos decir Gerardo va a la escuela de, de María, por ejemplo, ¿ok? Se pudiera, pero como en este caso, lo que quiero hacer notar es que si decimos, por ejemplo, si queremos dar el mensaje que él va a su escuela, a la escuela de él, entonces tenemos que usar el adjetivo posesivo correcto. His school. Si es señorita, her school. ¿Ok? Ok, very good. Very good. Thank you, Mary. That was fantastic. Ok, now, one person more. Una persona más y luego pues va a tener el tiempo para su presentación. Vera Liz, very good. Maria listens to music. The teacher goes to church on Sunday. Henry visits his family on Sunday. Oscar Josue goes to the park. Camelia works. Fantastic, very good. Okay. So I think we have been uh, working a lot. I don't know. Si hay alguien más que, que desee compartirlo. Compartir lo que escribieron, lo que. Pues ahorita es el tiempo. Si no, nos vamos con las presentaciones. No more volunteers. Ok. So, well, 
let's start with the presentations then. Uh, I'll stop sharing this part. Uh, well, hay un dicho por ahí que, es, que dicen que las, que las damas siempre van primero, ¿verdad? ¿Qué dicen los, 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 los chicos de eso? Okay, I think ladies, well, you are gonna, uh, actually, the, are you ready to present? Ya están listos para presentar. Quiero ver las manos levantadas porque yo dije que quería que todos participaran. Quiero ver, quiero ver los que están listos. Levanten su mano, por favor, los que están listos. Raise your hands, please. No one's ready. Nadie está listo todavía para presentar. Bueno, vamos a hacer algo entonces. Um, como son dos grupos, vamos a dedicarle cinco, diez, quince minutos a que terminen. A que terminen ambas cosas, ¿ok? Ambas cosas. Que terminen de afinar este, um, el álbum y este, su presentación de qué es lo que hacen en, su, en el trabajo. Por supuesto, si, es, si, si está en el grupo de las damas, su énfasis va a ser primero terminar lo, su presentación de qué es lo que ustedes hacen en el trabajo. La voy a, los, voy a, los voy a poner en grupos para que se ayuden, ¿verdad? Y los varones, por supuesto, enfocarse más en su presentación de las profesiones, principalmente. Ya cuando terminen, pues ya se pueden mover a trabajar en la, en la otra parte. ¿Les parece? ¿Les parece? Gracias. Ok, vamos a hacer los dos grupos. No se preocupen al inicio, porque al inicio, pues, yo no puedo controlar cómo quedan, pero sí los puedo estar moviendo, ¿ok? Voy a crear los dos grupos. Ok, ingresen, por favor, y de ahí los voy a mover.
Okay. Now I I saw that you were working quietly. Okay. Uh, I hope everybody over here. There are some people who have problems with the internet. And we're going to wait for. Well, now times, uh, I think time's been enough, right? You got like 15 minutes to to work in that. And I think it's been enough. So just for you to remember, what I'm looking for, uh, well, I, I don't think we're gonna start today, but, but tomorrow, right? So uh, what I'm looking for is, uh, I mean, for for you to um, talk about the activities that you do in your job, right? Okay, so something like the 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 daily the daily routines that you do at you at a job in your job, okay. By using, of course, simple present tense, right? It's something like uh, uh, the information that we have been studying so far, and also when I when I ask you for information regarding to the album, it's because it needs to you need to provide some information related to the occupations themselves, right? Uh, you are you have to be able or you need to be able to talk about what an engine what a software engineer does what a, what the, what what does a human resource specialist do usually do financial analyst insurance agents bookkeeper digital manager etc right so remember that i i told you to investigate about 40 40 occupations or 40 professions or, or, or a combination of both, right? So this is what, what I will uh, look for tomorrow, people. Besides that, uh, we're going to start talking about, oh, I'm sorry for Mary. Well, to, tonight, we have had some problems with, with the internet and hopefully tomorrow we're not going to face these problems, okay? So lo que ando buscando, chicos, al dejarles esa tarea o esa tarea es pues lograr que ustedes alcancen la meta de hablar acerca de sus lugares de trabajo, okay? ¿Qué es lo que ustedes hacen ahí? ¿Qué es lo que sus compañeros hacen ahí? Que nos, lo, que nos lo cuenten, ¿verdad? Pueden agregar algo como que se la pasan súper bien, que hacen un buen equipo, que consideran que el ambiente laboral eh, positivo es muy bueno en, en, cualquier, en cualquier institución, cualquier compañía, siempre eso va a sumar, ¿verdad? Y que por el contrario, pues una, algunas relaciones mal abordadas, ¿ok? Y en el trabajo pueden crear... Eh, ambientes que no nos benefician en nada. Algo por ahí, por ahí ando buscando que ustedes nos, 
nos presenten el día de mañana. Ahora no pudimos, pero yo voy a insistir en eso mañana. Eh, por otra parte, pues con respecto al álbum, ando, lo que busco es que ustedes sepan eh, la pronunciación, o sea, que aprendan mucho, mucho vocabulario respecto a las ocupaciones y las profesiones. Pero no solamente eso, sino que identifiquen qué es lo que hacen, que, que cuáles son la, las actividades que estas personas realizan en, en sus trabajos. Eso es lo que iban buscando. Por eso les decía ayer que por lo menos que se preparan con 10, con 10 profesiones, con 10 ocupaciones, pues estaría genial, porque en realidad no, no podemos invertir, digamos, las 120 minutos en que todos nos presenten los 40, eh, las 40 palabras que han encontrado, ¿verdad? No nos alcanzaría el tiempo. Ok, entonces, um, para eso, pues, vamos a ocupar nada más que unos 15, 20 minutos mañana al iniciar la clase, ok, para luego movernos a otro tema. De acuerdo, el tiempo realmente hoy no, no fue suficiente porque, pues, no logramos abordar esa, ese, esos dos, esas dos tareas, pero igual seguimos con, con, con eso, con haciendo ese esfuerzo, ¿verdad? Necesito ver que ustedes logren eso, ¿ok? Hay otra tarea por ahí que yo tenía pensado dejárselas ahora, pero este, me, la voy a, me la voy a guardar y mañana se la voy a asignar, ¿ok? A lo que sí, quiero ver algo sencillito. <risa> no, mejor mañana, ¿ok? Mejor mañana. Son do eran dos tareas, pero mejor mañana, hoy. Este, no sé si hay alguna, algún comentario. Hoy, hoy vi que algunos tuvieron problemas con el internet. Tengo solo 17 personas acá. Y voy a pasar la lista. Si ustedes se recuerdan que alguien estuvo acá, me lo dicen porfa. Porque este, necesito que quede registrado. De igual manera, hay otra persona que, que mira la, la, el listado. Y como en la plataforma quedan los minutos, ahí la persona... En ocasiones me ha corregido que yo he puesto que alguien no entró y sí, efectivamente sí estuvo, pero no estuvo las dos horas. Entonces sí hay alguien que está rectificando, pero pues a mí me gustaría dejar esto súper, súper bien. Veamos. Adán. Alison. Ok, Alison Esmeralda. Andrea Raquel. Camelia. Presente. Ok. Dina Maribel. Gerardo Emanuel. Dina. Dina. Presente. Dina. Okay, Gerardo Sobejir. Gilberto. Presente. Okay. Gladys. Presente, teacher. Héctor Salvador, ya sé que está acá. Henry. Present teacher. Ok, Henry. Isabel. Charlene. Ok, Raquel y soy here. Very good, Raquel. Starlim. Jonathan Josué. Uh, Mayra Norabel. Present. Ok, María Elba. Present, teacher. Ok, Marisela. Present. Miguel Ángel. Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Oscar Josué. Present teacher. Ronan. Present teacher. Salvador Santiago. Vera Liz. Present teacher. Vidal. Present teacher. En Claudia. Well. 
Um, Sarling, I think Sarling, Sarling. Teacher, solo una pregunta. Tell me. Con respecto a la, a la, ta, a la tarea eh, mm. que vamos a hacer el día de ahora, esa queda para mañana porque yo tuve problemas a la hora de, de la conexión, como que me, me sacaba. No sí, sé, sí, no sí. sé si la hicieron o no. No, no la, no la hemos abordado. Eso queda para mañana. Ah, ok, está bien. Ok, María, eso queda para mañana. Y este, solo hacerles un pequeño comentario. Ahora estuve pasando las notas de, de la plataforma a, este, a, a otro documento que a mí me solicitan, ¿ok? Para llevar un, el registro de ustedes, de lo que ustedes hacen en la plataforma. En su mayoría ya lo terminó. La verdad que lo felicito. Pero si alguien tuvo alguna dificultad, por, por lo menos eh, Raquel tuvo una dificultad, Gracias a Dios ya le solucionaron, pero este, todavía tiene pendiente el, las actividades, entonces hay que desarrollarlas en esta semana y igual, ¿verdad? Si alguien pues tuvo algún retraso por el trabajo por X razón y no ha logrado completar las actividades, pues háganlo, ¿ok? Hasta la Homework 3, Homework 3 es para esta semana, Tratemos de llevar las actividades este, acorde a la semana en la que estamos, ¿verdad? Y si usted quiere adelantar ya con semana cuatro, que usted dice, ah, bueno, voy a adelantar y, este, y desarrollarlo, pues no hay ningún problema, ¿verdad? Pero este, de hecho, pues tienen la posibilidad de hacer el, el, la actividad, no sé si les permite dos o tres veces, a modo que ustedes siempre obtengan los mejores resultados, ¿verdad? Y este, pues, espero mañana en la tarde voy a, voy a revisar nuevamente la plataforma para este, ver si logro hacer algunos cambios, ¿verdad? Porque hay algunos que tienen, digamos, en tarea 1, imagínense, si alguien tiene, digamos, el 60% o el 100%, quiere decir que le ha faltado algo por ahí, algún par de ejercicios, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, hay que terminarlos para que nos dé el 100% en la plataforma. El midterm, también ya lo revisé. Este, pues la mayoría ha salido súper bien. La verdad que estoy, estoy contento. Pero si, igual, ¿verdad? Si hay alguien que todavía no lo ha terminado, que lo haga. De acuerdo. No sé si hay preguntas. Comentarios, María. No, teacher. No. All right. ¿Estamos claros que mañana le vamos a dar continuidad a las tareas? Sí. Yes. quedaron pendientes? Ok, mañana vamos a invertir unos 15 minutitos en eso, ¿ok? Así que prepárense, estén listos el día de mañana para este, invertir el tiempo eh, óptimamente. ¿De acuerdo? So, if there is no any comment or any other participation, let's see you tomorrow, people. It's been a pleasure to me to see you again. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.